HTML Web Storage API. HTML Web Storage, better than cookies. Um, here I have an example. We're going to be checking out this example in detail later on. But if we open it, all plus L plus O, this is our website. We're going to press Control Shift I. And in here we have the elements, we have the console, we have the sources, the network, the performance. We are going to go to application and the Google Chrome. And here we're going to be focusing on storage. So we have application, storage, cache, background services, and frames. We're going to go to storage. And here we have two types, local storage, session storage. Well, we have more than that, but we're going to be focusing only on local storage and session storage. If we go inside of the local storage and we click here, we have this application. If we click this application in this button, as you can see, the num as you can click, uh, the number increases. So that is the purpose of this application. We're gonna check it out later on. So, what is HTML Web Storage? With Web Storage, web applications can store data locally within the user's browser. Before HTML5, application data had to be stored in cookies, included in every server request. Web storage is more secure, and large amounts of data can be stored locally without affecting website performance. Unlike cookies, the storage limit is far larger, at least 5 megabytes, and information is never transferred to the server. Uh, here we have web server is per origin, per domain, and protocol. All pages from one origin can store and access the same data and the browser support. The number, the numbers in the table specify the first browser version that fully supports web storage. So here we have the API that is going to be the Google Chrome. The web storage is going to be 4.0. We're going to have the Internet Explorer Edge. It's going to be web storage is going to be 8.0. We're going to have Firefox with 3.5, Safari with 4.0, and Opera with 11.5 HTML web storage object HTML web storage provides two objects for storing data on the client the first one is going to be window that local storage stores data with no expiration date and the second one is going to be window that session storage stores data for one session data is lost when the browser tab is closed so again if we open, we, I close it, but if we open this application again and press Ctrl Shift I, you can see these two, you can see here are the two uh, objects that we have, the local storage and the session storage. Here we have local storage and session storage. We also have cookies and more, but we're going to be focusing, focusing on the local storage and session storage. Before using web, web storage, check browser support for local storage and session storage. Okay, so they're giving us the, the semantics or the syntax here. We have the if statement declaration, uh, if else, so if, open parentheses, we're gonna have type of storage, it can be local storage or session storage. It has to be, not equal if it's not equal to undefined and undefined has to be inside double quotes we're going to open curly braces and we're going to type in some code else sorry no web storage support so that is the basic syntax now we're going to see the the local storage object the local storage object stores the data with no expiration date the data will not be deleted when the browser is closed and will be available the next day week or year so this is the example that they're giving us store local storage that set item and inside the parentheses we're gonna have in this case two strings last name and Smith now how we retrieve it we're gonna use document that get element by ID we're gonna pass in the ID in this case the ID is result and we're gonna chain it to the inner HTML equal sign local storage we're gonna chain it to the get item and now we're gonna pass in this string that is the last name and the result has to be the word Smith. So we're gonna click and try yourself. Okay, so this is the code and we're gonna have, we're gonna retrieve the last name that is Smith and we're gonna see that in our, in our local storage. So we're gonna go to Visual Studio Code 
uh, I'm gonna delete whatever I have in my H in my index.html file. So now my my index.html file is empty. So I'm gonna we're gonna be copying. Now uh, we're gonna type it in. So okay, I'm gonna press Shift exclamation marks to have a template to work with. And now we're gonna have inside of the body section. We are gonna have we're gonna have a div inside of the body section. Okay, so we're gonna have a div like that, and we're gonna have an ID, and the ID is gonna be result. Okay, so it's gonna be ID, and it's gonna be a result inside of the double quotes. We're gonna save it. That is that. And that is inside of the body section. Now below that we are gonna have um, an script element. Okay, I'm gonna move a little bit. So we're gonna have the script element. Here is gonna be a script. Okay. We're gonna have the script element and inside of that. We're gonna have the if statement declaration. We're gonna have an if else. So I'm gonna take okay, so it's gonna be if we're gonna open parentheses okay it's gonna be type of and in this case it's gonna be we're using storage is storage okay so exclamation mark double equal sign if the storage is not as it's not equal to undefined then we're gonna go outside of the of the parentheses and we're gonna we're gonna open a set of curly braces and inside of the curly braces we're gonna have local storage okay so local storage that set iron we're gonna set the iron and in this case we're gonna pass uh, we're gonna pass two strings the first string is gonna be last last name it's gonna be last name and the second one is gonna be smith Okay, and here you don't have to put camel notation, you don't have to use camel notation. Okay, so we end up with a semicolon here. And what else do we have? Now we're gonna retrieve it, so I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna make this one a little okay, so now we're gonna retrieve it and we're gonna use document that get element by ID. So it's gonna be document that get element by ID okay so the id as you can see here is going to be result so inside of the double quotes we're going to pass in the id that is going to be result and now we're going to chain it to the inner html so equal sign and now we're going to have uh, we're going to have local storage get items so it's going to be local storage we're going to change it chain it and it's going to be this one get iron and we're gonna pass in here the last name and make sure that it has to match this one so it's gonna be last name and then we're gonna end up with a semicolon like that we end up with a semicolon and then we're gonna have the else statement so else we're gonna open curly braces we're gonna have some code here document get element by id okay so we're gonna have document that get element by id and we're gonna pass in the id that is gonna be result and again we have the in line 11 we have the div element we have the id attribute and the id attribute is gonna be result so that is the the one that we're using so we're gonna chain it to the inner html equal sign and now we're gonna have, uh, I'm gonna copy this, this measure, this string, okay, it's gonna be sorry, your browser does not support web browser, support web storage, okay, so we're gonna have that, and we're gonna close the script uh, element, we're gonna save it, and we're gonna open it, and you can go, my file name is index.html file, you can just right click and open with live server, and as you can see here I have a Smith so yeah we are retrieving the last name and this last name is a Smith so we can change it to maybe I don't know John maybe we're gonna save it ok 
que la edad, we're gonna save it, we're gonna go to our website and the last name has changed so yeah I'm retreating the last name and it's gonna be John but now we're gonna press Control shift i and we're gonna go to the local storage and we're gonna go inside of the local storage and now I'm gonna click it okay as you can see the last name is John so if I refresh it it continues to be there and I mean you can change it to whatever you want I don't know you can put Trump maybe so we can refresh it and we have the key and the value the key is going to be the last name and the value is going to be Trump so we can also change the, the key but you you have to change it here too so yeah that is that for this example okay example explain create a local storage name slash value pair with the name last name and value smith as i show you retrieve the value of last name and insert it into the element with id result uh, so, okay i'm gonna close this as you can see in line 11 we have the id result if this will have changed to i don't know whatever you have to change the document that get element by ID and you have to put the whatever inside of the double quotes here so the example above could also be written like this so we have the local storage chain it to the last name and equal sign and the last name is going to be inside double quotes smith how we will retrieve it document that get element by ID result that inner html local storage and chain it to the last name so the syntax for removing the last name local storage iron is as follows you just have local storage that remove iron and we're gonna remove the last name so we're gonna try it uh we're gonna try it here and outside of the else statement so it's gonna be local storage that remove iron open parentheses and we're gonna we're gonna be removing the last name last name we're gonna end up this one with a semicolon so let me see local storage remove iron last name okay so now we're gonna go to our website and uh, okay there's nothing so as you can see it has been removed so we have been removed it has been removed that is that okay so oops. okay note the name slash value pairs are always stored as strings remember to convert them to another format when needed the following example counts the number of times a user has clicked a button in this code the value string is converted to a number to be able to increase the counter and this is the example that i show you when we started the video so we have the if still if else a statement declaration so we have the if inside of the parentheses we have the local storage and that click count we open curly braces we're going to have the local storage that click count equal sign number inside of the parentheses we're going to have the local storage that click count and we're going to add it one else local storage that click count and it's going to be equal to the number one outside of the curly braces we're going to have the da document that get element by id so the id is going to be resolved we're going to chain it to the inner html you have clicked the button plus local storage that click count plus and then the time in seconds so we're going to try it we're going to click here we're going to close this and okay we're going to go to our visual studio code and let me see i'm just gonna yeah so we have an empty an empty html file and then just name it index.html or whatever you want to name it so i'm going to press shift exclamation mark to have a template to work with i'm going to save it okay and now what do we have here so we have an script and okay so we have the script and that is inside of the head section okay now inside of the body section we're gonna have a paragraph and a div okay let's start with in this case let's start with the, the body section first because i want to show you the 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 id so we're gonna have a paragraph like that 
and inside of this paragraph we are gonna have a, a button like this we're gonna have a button okay and the button is gonna be it's gonna have an unclick event okay it's gonna have an unclick event what is that unclick event equal sign it's gonna be click counter click counter and we're gonna open double quote so this is gonna be the function click counter it's gonna be the name of the function okay so we're gonna have the type attribute we're gonna have the type attribute like that and the type attribute is gonna be true no the type attribute is gonna be button like this outside of that we're gonna have okay just the basic uh, click me like this I'm gonna close this one okay let me see let's go to the website we have our button here nothing is happen happening obviously but we have our button I'm gonna move this one a little bit to the right okay so that is that for our paragraph outside of the paragraph we are gonna have a we're gonna have a div so I'm just gonna have it here it's gonna have a div and this div is gonna have the ID and the ID is gonna be resolved the ID attribute is gonna be resolved like that the ID attribute is gonna be have it's gonna be resolved and then we're just gonna have uh, two paragraphs I'm just gonna copy the paragraphs and it's gonna be below the div so we're gonna have okay we're gonna have two paragraphs like that and the first paragraph is gonna say click the button to see the counter increase and the second uh, paragraph is gonna be close the browser tab or window and try again and counter and the counter will continue to come if it's not reset so I'm gonna save it let's open it to see how it's looking okay it's looking fine but if I click and nothing is happening obviously because we haven't started with the JavaScript code so we're gonna move to that now we're gonna go inside of the head section okay so we're gonna be inside of the head section I'm gonna be here and here we're gonna have the script element so we're gonna have the script element like this inside of the script element we're gonna have the function click counter okay function I'm gonna okay like this better so it's gonna be function and it's gonna be click counter as you can see it it's gonna be this one click counter so we're gonna open curly braces okay function click counter curly braces if so it's gonna be if open parentheses type of it's gonna be type of open parentheses storage is storage you can you have it here and you can read the information uh, this web storage API interface provides access to a particular domain session or local storage it allows for example the addition modification or deletion of stored data items so we're gonna pick a storage and okay this one exclamation mark double equal sign so eh, that is not equal to undefined that is not equal to undefined and we're gonna outside of the parentheses we're gonna open curly braces again and now we're gonna have if a statement if local storage local storage if local storage chain it to the click counter chain it to the uh, click count okay click count click count without the comma notation click count okay if the local storage that click count we're gonna open again curly braces local storage that click count so it's gonna be local storage that uh, click count equal sign and we're gonna assign it to the number number open parentheses and we're gonna have local storage local storage okay so it's gonna be local storage that click count that click count you have here 
and we're gonna add it one the number one we're gonna end up with a semicolon okay so else we're gonna have the else statement else and we're gonna open curly curly braces local storage that click count is equal to one so local storage that click count is equal to one and we're gonna end up with a semi with a with a semicolon so this is what we have so yeah we have that to this point okay so outside of that we're gonna have the document that get element by id okay so we're gonna have here we're gonna go just below this one this document document okay document that get element by id and okay so the id as you know is gonna be result okay that document that okay and we're gonna chain it to the inner html so that inner html equal sign and we're gonna have what do we have here we're gonna have you have clicked the button so i'm gonna grab this i'm just gonna grab this this string so we're gonna have this string you have clicked the button plus local storage that click count plus inside of the parentheses we have this string time inside of the parentheses we're gonna have the s and we're gonna end up the system with a semicolon so that is that else okay else wait a minute we're gonna go we're gonna have here another else statement so else and we are gonna open curly braces and we're gonna have document document that get element by id open parentheses curly braces result okay and we're gonna chain it to the to the inner that HTML file equal sign and again I'm just gonna grab this sorry this okay we're gonna have this string sorry your browser does not support web storage in case your browser does not and what else do we have okay so now we're gonna just save it we're gonna end the script uh, tag and we're gonna go to our website so everything looks good we're gonna we're gonna open our website and this is how it should look like so i'm gonna press ctrl shift i and i'm gonna go here to the local storage inside of the local storage i'm gonna start clicking click okay it's working click again two three four okay it's working yeah we can click and delete selected okay okay now i can refresh it click again okay as you can see it's working so that is that for the local storage that is that for this example now we're gonna move to the the session storage object the session storage object is equal to the local storage object except that it stores the data for only one session the data is deleted when the user closes the specific browser tab the following example counts the number of times a user has clicked a button in the current session so again we have the if statement in the parentheses we have session storage that click count open curly braces session storage that click count equal number open parentheses session storage that click count close parentheses plus one semicolon then the else the else statement inside of the else statement we're gonna have session storage that click count equal to one document get element by id result that inner html you have clicked the button so we are just gonna this time we're just gonna try here and yes pretty much it's pretty much the same to the la to the previous example we're just gonna grab it i'm gonna copy it and i'm gonna go to my index.html file that I have here I'm just gonna delete everything I just pasted the code that I just grabbed and we're gonna go to the, through the code here again first 
we're gonna end line 21 we have the a paragraph like we did in the previous example it's pretty much the same so inside of the paragraph we're gonna have a button on click event it's gonna the name of the function is gonna be click counter the type is gonna be button and here it's gonna say click me so we end, we end the button tag and the paragraph tag the in line 22 we're gonna have the div element with an id attribute of result so that is this is very important because we're gonna be using this id result and then we're gonna have two paragraphs click the button to see the counter increase and the second but a uh, paragraph is gonna be close the browser tab or window and try again and the counter is reset so that is that and this is inside of the this is inside of the the body section so this is inside of the body section now we're gonna go inside of the inside of the head section and inside of the head section we are gonna have we're gonna have the script element and inside of the script element we are gonna have we're gonna have this function and the function name is it has to be this one click counter as we saw in the previous example we're gonna have curly braces inside of the curly braces we're gonna have the if statement open parentheses we're gonna, we're gonna have the type of and it's gonna be a storage and uh, it's not equal to the undefined uh, it cannot be under if it's not equal to undefined uh, we open curly braces we're gonna have the if statement session storage that is the that is the part that is changing in the previous one we we were dealing with we were dealing with uh, local storage in this case it's not local storage it's session storage chain it to the click count we open curly braces we're gonna have session storage that click count equal number open parentheses session storage that click count we close parentheses plus one semicolon we're gonna have the else statement else session storage chain it to the click count is gonna be equal to the number one outside of that we're gonna have the document that get element by id and the idea is you, you guess it result we're gonna chain it to the inner that html you have clicked the button okay you have this string you have clicked the button plus we're concatenating it uh, session storage that click count plus and you have this uh, stream time open parenthesis s in this section we end up with a semicolon we're gonna have an uh, a last else statement that is gonna be document that get element by id the id is gonna be resolved that inner html and sorry your browser does not support web storage in case it doesn't and that's pretty much it and then we end the script element so we're gonna go to our website we're gonna go to index.html we're gonna open with live server right click and this is what we have here so control shift i and this time we're not gonna go to local storage if we go to local storage well that is from the previous example but now the local storage is empty and there's nothing here now we're gonna go to the session storage and we're gonna click here we're gonna click it and let me let me refresh it so now it's empty the the session storage so i'm gonna click it okay click on this one click 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 you can click it click the button to see counter increases close the browser tab or window and try again and the counter is reset so right now it's 14 okay so now let's reset it okay so okay nothing is happening let's clear it all let's click it again and it starts from one so i if i click here and clear all it starts from one let me see click it okay okay 16 i'm going all the way let's just close it to see what happens and now let's open it again Control shift i and let me see okay it has been uh, yeah we lost that information so i click it it starts from one again and yeah that is the that is the session storage object 
so yeah that's pretty much it for this video